Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Here in front of my new house, we are just in the process of wrapping up the move-in process. Um, but I wanted to let you know about this item. This is the Roaring Fire Pack Mule uh, tool roll. So they have different size tool rolls. This is the biggest one I've seen so far. Offers a lot of functionality. It's about 25 by 13 when it's all rolled out. It has removable pockets inside. As you can see, I've got a bunch of gear in here. Grab handle up top. You have the uh, shoulder strap so you can throw it over your shoulder. You can take that off if you want just to throw it in a pack or throw it in a car. This is a great way to organize gear when you're out in the field, to organize tools when you're around the house. For, for me, it's all about organization right now, especially because we got so many boxes filled with things. But in general, when it comes to gear, I love to organize my gear. So let me uh, put on a table, change the camera angle, and show you how this thing is organized. And it just offers a lot of functionality. So this is a product I think you guys will definitely be interested in. So here's a look at it as I just showed it to you. Let me unclip this, and I'm going to roll it out for you. So when I first opened it up, I was like... Where are the pockets? So they are inside this section, which is closed with a zipper, which is nice. And you have the same thing on the other side. So uh, basically it's gonna guarantee that nothing's gonna slip out the side while you're carrying it around and it's in transport. All right, so we unzip this, this, and this. These are YKK zippers, which is nice. nice. Throw this flap open. So this is one side. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these um, basically elastic sections. That, as you can see, you can run something through here and then down into the pocket. You can run items just through this section. Like if I put a knife in here just by itself, like so. Let's just do it like that for now. You could obviously put the clip over as well if you want to do that to set it up like so. So lots of ways to organize the gear in this section. I've got a flashlight, a knife, screwdriver, pliers, pliers, screwdriver, screwdriver, and then a smaller screwdriver. So this is obviously kind of the tool section. On the other side, I'll show you a bunch of outdoor gear. Here's another zippered pocket down here where you can keep smaller items in if those are the type of things that might fall out of these types of pockets. You can put it in here instead. So I mean, with just that, a ton of organization, and I do like the fact that you basically close this up like so. And with YKK zippers, they're good quality. They're not gonna break on you. And then again, things are not gonna fall out now because it's zippered in. All right, let me flip it to the other side here. You can see, same type of thing, another zippered section. So zip this, open it up. And now you've got these four zippered sections. Now the cool thing about this is you can take these out if you want to. As you can see, we've got two that are fully closed and basically you can't see in. And then two that have this kind of very, it's very durable. It's more durable than I've seen on some other uh, packs like this, but it's basically see-through. So you can get a sense at least of what's in there. You can't see super clear, um, but you can generally see through. So let me open this up, show you what I got in here. This is just like, you know, if you had a bunch of food you wanted to carry, I got, well, let's see, one, two, three granola bars and two kind bars in that section. So maybe throw some food in if you're out in the airfield. This is not organized like a particular kit for me right now. This is just built like, you know, throwing some gear in to test it out. Here's your second section. I've got a uh, cold steel Sharpie. I've got a survival pen. I've got my Olight uh, O-Pen 2. I've got an emergency radio. I've got some Zippo stormproof light. And then down here, some product from Pro Camp Tech. This is the waxwood stick. So there's your second section. Throwing some gear in there. Third section here. I've got a little uh, spoon here, bushcrafting spoon. I got some duct tape, Phoenix headlamp, some more duct tape, a smaller roll, and then a, uh, a little razor blade here for cutting. Obviously that's what a blade is for. And then in this last section here, I've got a knife. This is the Mini Hudson Bay from Condor Tool and Knife. I've got some leather gloves in here, and I've got a little Altoids kit. This is gonna be a future review. So you can see, I mean, the organizing your gear, again, for me, I love to keep my gear organized, so this is a great way to do it. Now, the additional cool feature about this is, say, I'm out somewhere and I don't need to take all these items, but I wanna make maybe a smaller kit to throw into a day pack or, you know, into like a lumbar pack, something like that. Hook and loop. Take this off, and now I can rock and roll with this. The thing I love about this is full panel and three panels that are basically almost, you know, touching almost completely, just a tiny little um, opening between each one. But it's not like one little dinky piece of hook and loop or Velcro, it's the whole thing. So when you put that on there, it's not gonna accidentally pop off or fall off. Once that thing is nailed down, it's, it's gonna stay in place nicely. So once you're done accessing your gear, close this up like so. Zip it up, zip it up. Zip it up, 
flip this over. And obviously, depending on how much gear you have in there, it's going to roll more or less easily. But basically, I'm rolling it up like this. And then I got the strap here. Goes underneath. And then clips in here. And same thing with the other side. Like that. Cinch it down. Cinch this guy down. Does have the little elastics there so you can keep the extra section of the strap kind of under control. And now we're, uh, we're ready to go. So once again, if you order now, you're gonna save some money. It's about 76 uh, normal price and it's 64 and change. So you're gonna save some cash if you get it now. They've got this size, they've got a smaller size, they have an even smaller size than that. So lots of different options. When you combine these, you can have lots of ways to organize your gear. I love the concept. I love the tool roll. Um, I'm a big fan of Canadian Prepper's bug out roll, which is a much larger version, but this can organize some of the smaller gear or medium sized gear that I've got. So I've checked out gear from Roaring Fire over probably the last two years and I've liked their products. Um, it, it seems quite durable and at the same time quite reasonable in price. They do offer a lot of different kind of organizational gear out there. So check out their website. I got a link down below in the description section if you want to head over there and uh, purchase any items. So yeah, Roaring Fire. This is the, the biggest organization role that they've made yet and uh, I'm definitely a fan of it. So uh, links down below in the description section if you want to pick up this or other gear from Roaring Fire. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.